Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Jerry and Marsha, who live in this really, really, really nice uh, Chevy Express. It is a Chevy or a GMC? It's Chevy. It's Chevy. Yeah. Uh, you can't tell from this side. <laughs> and uh, so, are you folks full timing now? We are full timing. Uh, we've been about five months now. Five months. Five months on the road. That's it. Right. And uh, so, what led? And you're retired. I am retired. Kind of forced retirement due to back problems. A couple of back operations. Worked through that. Started building the van. It took about a year actually to build it. Is it any better now? Oh yeah, it's a lot better. I think I've actually improved since I've been on the road because I'm doing more walking. What uh, led you to the decision to uh, buy a van and live in the van? Well, I wanted to see the U.S. I, I'd worked all my life and never had really really vacation but just a couple of times and that was one of my goals i wanted to get out and travel the u.s and and see what was out here see the great country see the nature that god had made for us and just enjoy it and and i've learned to meet people a little more i i used to wouldn't i wouldn't have even done this at all two years ago so i'm getting a little better at meeting folks and marshall what do you think has it been good for you as well yeah he's he's changing i think we're getting closer and he's doing new things i we've been married 46 years i would I, he's never worked with a journal you know and like he says meeting people he's he's a good guy i mean i love him but you know i'm, I'm prejudiced <laughs> <laughs> but he's surprising me you know he's he's growing and doing new things so. right was it a bit of a struggle when all of a sudden the order and structure of your life wasn't there you could just do, you get up, you can do anything you want. Yeah, it wasn't really a struggle. You just I fell was, right into it. I was kind of ready for it. I was getting pretty tired of the day-to-day -day routine at work and stuff. So now it's uh, it's have some fun. Yeah. And here you go. And uh, so the van is working good as far as traveling and seeing the country. Yes. It's, it's harder with a couple. How's that going? It's going okay, I think. We do have some, some problems, uh, physical problems, just moving around in the van. You know, one's got to get out of the way to get by. Uh, I don't know that we fuss any more than we did at home. I mean, couples have their issues, regardless of where you're at. But I, I'm enjoying it, and I think it's going good. And, and Marsha, what's your side of the story? <laughs> That's his side. <laughs> it's, it's been fun. It really has. As long as you keep a good attitude towards it. Yeah. You know, that really is everything in life. We went to the RTR and learned a lot. And we went down to the big tent and we got a couple of, bought some couple of things that make life a little easier. Uh -huh. So I'm learning. It's like a, a whole new ball game. You know, you, you know how to cook or you know you know what pleases your husband but when you're on the road you know i was a little bit concerned that i could shift gears no problem <laughs> he's happy <laughs> good he we does. have a good time we yeah. got a good relationship with our kids and stuff so yeah. it's it's all right are, are and where are you guys from you mentioned we're, texas we're really f originally from mississippi we spent last what, 22 years i guess it is in texas it's been like five months. No regrets. Mm. You're glad you went. Glad You're doing went. this. No regrets. Good. 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 Do you still? So you didn't keep your home base. Mm -mm. No. No. We got a shed in their backyard, and she said, "Daddy, there's y'all's room anytime you want it." Okay. <laughs> it's probably as big as your van. It it's is. Bigger. It's bigger. It's bigger than your van. We we just communicate with our kids and and stuff through a cell phone, and they were concerned about us being on the road. <laughs> Especially when we were up in the mountains, in the in the Smoky Mountains, and they were they couldn't get a hold to us because we was out in the mountains and no reception of anything, and a hurricane was coming in mm -hmm. and coming our way. So they said, "You got to do something." One daughter said, "I'm gonna put something on your van. You're not even gonna know it." And I said, "She looked at the price. I think might have changed her mind." <laughs> but we did get a, a spot. Uh, Gen 3, uh -huh. so we can match them when we're out of any kind of service, just to let them know where we're at. And that's working great, too. Those are great things. Uh, when you're out of cell range often. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's got little footprints if you do that right. button. And one of the girls called and said, y'all going in circles. <laughs> I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> 
the cost for the comfort it gives you everyone is uh really low yeah I mean, it's, it's not really bad. worth it yeah a couple hundred dollars a year something like that i don't even remember what it is it doesn't matter in the beginning when you were deciding you must have debated an rv and a van we did and uh and this is a fairly new van it's a 2017 yeah we so bought it brand you bought a brand new bought it brand new i did so you could have got a, a used van, a motor home, RV of some kind, for about that same price. Mm -hmm. So you chose the van over the RV. We did. We started looking at Class A's all the way down the line, smaller and smaller and smaller. And we watched a lot of videos. And we decided that this would be the best for us in the traveling like we wanted to do. Because, like I say, East Coast to West Coast, we want to see it. And it's more convenient for us. Very much. Yeah. You can park anywhere. Right. We have had an early dentist appointment in Houston, and we just parked in the parking lot at the dentist's office. <laughs> Seven o'clock, you there. Yeah. So you spent the night. We yeah. spent the yeah. night in yeah. the dentist. If you ask, you know. Well, sure. They, they didn't care. You're coming in to see them. Why would they care? They didn't care. Right. Mm -hmm. at, at, at the hospital, we spent a night in the hospital parking lot because we had appointments the next day. Stuff like that. Just roadside parks, you know, rest right. areas, of course. Uh, we've hit a Walmart or two, and Cracker Barrel. And Cracker Barrel's good, I do like their breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I do too, they one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. And you're getting so much better gas mileage, you know, I mean, that has to, you have to consider that too. Yes, I'd talked to people and looked online and uh, the Class C's that I kind of thought we, that I wanted and was going to only get about mm, eight to 10 right. at the most. And now we're getting, in, in the traveling now, we're getting about uh, 16, 15 to 16, just on like on, if you're running I-10. But when you get up in the mountain areas, it cuts it down to about 14 and a half, something like that. Right. But still yep. not too bad. Still not bad at all. And when we got it, it it's just a, a cargo van. Uh, Joe and Jerry put the high top on and um, He's done the solar and the fan and, you know, everything. And I, I kind of thought the mileage would go, you know, but it's doing good. It, it went down a little bit when you added the solar and stuff and the high top, but not, right. not too bad. So you installed the high top yourself? We did. Okay. And so you just bought it, the high top? Or do you mind if I ask uh, where it, you got it? No, I got it. it I actually ordered it from Arizona through a company in Arizona, but it came from Fiberine. Oh, it did. Where Fiberine it top. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, they make great stuff. And it worked out good. My son-in-law had dealt with some tops before, so he, he kind of knew what to do, and he helped out a lot on the whole thing. Right. So it, it worked out very well. And it looks like you got a whole bunch of solar up there. I got 400 watts of solar. Mm -hmm. and, and that's and working good? It's working fine. I got four six-volt AGM golf cart batteries wired mm -hmm. up. I sleep with a CPAP, so he, he's I over make, protecting. I want to make sure there's plenty of juice there for CPAP after if we run out of sun for, you know, four or five days. We could probably go five days without the sun because you would get a, we do get a little bit if it's just overcast. But then we'd have to go hunt a place because I don't want her to be without power for that. Right. And he's got it wired for shore power so you know if it's Good. not yeah. cloudy what you know we can recharge the batteries so i don't have it hooked up yet to charge the batteries from the alternator i haven't got that accomplished yet but we're probably going to do that when we go back home Okay, well, will you mind if we take a look inside? Uh, no, sure. I don't. Check we're, out your home? We're good with that. Okay. So folks, now we're inside and we're going to check out this beautiful van from Jerry and Marcia and go ahead and give us the tour. Okay. The cabinets on the top, as you can see, we got them where they'll, where they'll come up in these little latch to, to hold them in place. And that's that's down with just our clothes. One, one cabinet for odds and ends, just whatever. It's just a utility type thing. Mm -hmm. and, and both sides the same way. And this will be in the pantry. Oh, that's very efficient. Got really, really under. organized. Very nice. And then our little sink. Our little sink is actually was a bowl. I drilled a hole in it and beat it out and put it so it would work for a, for a sink. Mm -hmm. And got the hand pump, which works 
which worked pretty good for us. It's sometimes a little awkward to work back and forth with that. And then the actual cabinet itself where we have have our gas and different storage for water and drinks. Have our gray water and our and our water that pumps through here that through the drain back down to one of those. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very organized. Simple but, but uh, it simple. works. Yeah. Right, my intent was was to make it functional. It's not fancy, I would say, but it, it works. And then to all the way in the in the back. I put in a five thousand BTU air condition. Oh wow, good idea. And it and it works very well. And of course we only use it off of shore power. I can run it off the batteries for a very short time, but I don't really intend to. Storage under the beds. And we have the batteries set up down here. Have them tied down with some angle iron and flat bar iron. It's bolted all the way through the van to the bottom side. So they won't go anywhere. We put some holes in the board to take some of the weight off and it lets the air Very good come idea. under the bed. Yeah. This is basically a copy of stuff we saw on, online on YouTube, Bob. Right. A lot of it, it was on your videos. And we just adapted it for what we thought we wanted. Right. And it looks like it's working really well. It's worked out. LED lights, we got we got those and plug-ins for various things. This is a CPAP plug where Marcia plugs in for her CPAP. And then we have the winter refrigerator that we're running on refrigerator mode now. And it's it's worked really, really good. We can store about at least two weeks of food in that fridge for the two of us. And this little deal was the last thing I've added. We need somewhere to keep our cereal. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> Got to have cereal. It's lightweight and it works. And this is our blackout curtain where we can slide them over, drop them down. Put some magnets on it. I fixed some to go on the door and he fixed the insulation to the, like if it's cold, we put the insulation. But if it's warm, we then just we just cover it with that. Yeah, use the magnets, and it just hooks up to the window. And when we cut the like when we cut the van top out, I left this over the cab, mm -hmm. so we'd have storage. This is our attic area we call it, <laughs> right? And that works out really well. A good bit of storage up there. All the cabinet work I did myself. It looks great uh, with, with Marsha's help. It's really beautiful. But if I wanted it to be a uh, natural finish, so I didn't try to stain it or anything. And we've got mm -hmm. a little thing there for a table we pull out just to, just to set between us. We don't have a pedestal for it, but we have our chairs or stool sitting here and put it between us and eat off of that. Mm -hmm. Works work pretty good. And hopefully when we get this turned around, right. somebody will be sitting there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly stand good. up and kind of do stuff Wow. She cooks and eats at the same time and allows me to sit down and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I tell you what, uh, Bob, I'm I'm the boss if she's not around. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way most dogs work. <laughs> yeah. It seems to work pretty good that way, too. That works too. really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> he spoils me. <laughs> so with a couple inside a van, you you live out of the van a lot. A lot of your time is spent outside. We do, he, we do a good does. bit. I do. Marcia has problems with her breathing, so it, you know, later in the afternoon, she she comes in and stays in mostly. And so, for entertainment, you're probably just using your iPads and watching TV you, and using movies. the computer. At, with a we got the Prime set up, so we go mm -hmm. we use that for the for the movies, and then we have some CDs, and then other entertainment is. <coughs> I, play that instrument right there, that mandolin. Mm -hmm. Well, when we first got married, we were so poor, he was the entertainment. <laughs> we didn't have a TV, radio, nothing. I, I got to where I could play uh, play the guitar and the harmonica at the same time. You see some entertainers that put that yeah. strap around their neck, and I could do that just a little bit. Could you play a little bit for us? I could on the mandolin just a little bit. Do you got your strap in there? I got it all right here, baby. Okie dokie. Let's <coughs> see if it needs tuned. 
Cody, you're not yep. going to yell, are you? Oh, he might start barking and howling. Yeah. Be so bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're good. I can see how you'd be the entertainment. <laughs> Folks, now we're going to go outside and, and see their back, uh, back garage area. Okay, so now we're at the uh, back, and you just left the back wall a little bit in, and so you have some room back here. Yeah, it'd be kind of the garage stuff. And of course, this is gleaned from YouTube videos on the solar, and this is a thousand watt inverter charger. Mm -hmm. uh, that that might have been a mistake. I probably should have got something a little bigger, but it's working out just fine so far. Did, no, will it run your, it will, you said you'd have it will run, run the, It will run the AC, but it just uses so much power right. that I probably won't do that at all. Right. And then the shore connection comes in to this box and distribute it out from it for four outlets. Nice and neat and organized. Uh, see where everything is, where it goes. Very, I wanted to make it. Work. I wanted to make it easy to get to uh, for maintenance or any problems. I could come check, and I have blown a couple of fuses already. Who? It's easy to get to it. <laughs> Who? Well, you did one. Right. And then just a bunch of your uh, outdoor stuff. And just the other stuff out there, and then the a shower. That's the shower box right there. And this, I just prop it up and do that, and I have good vents on the side that'll take care of that. All oh, right, because you got to have it open to run it. Right. And another thing, my son-in-law that I here. that I helped my son-in-law do was install the rear-facing cameras. Also, he spoiled me. Well, Jerry and uh, Marcia, thank you so much for sharing your home with us. You've really, you've really done yeah. a nice job. And thank you. Uh, I guess I have to eat my words. Generally, I say don't put a couple in a van, but you <laughs> seem to be doing it. You must really like each other. <laughs> yeah. Even after all you know, these years. I like her pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I love him. <laughs> more each day. More each day. Well, that's that's good. To a couple in a van, you love them more each day. That's impressive. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Well, thank you. I really appreciate your sharing your home with us and your story. It's a great one. You're quite welcome. Folks, I know you've got something out of this. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.